Zhao Gong Ming. Zhao Gong Ming. Zhao Gong Ming. I come to you, Lord Zhao Gong Ming, as you know, with this target who I've prepared this doll for. This target who's diminishing I need, as I have written and blooded on this paper. This you already know. I formally ask you to please accept this task. Darken, putrefy this doll. In the end, we will attach it to the target and burn this, having sufficiently darkened as you see fit. Ming, I have brought you offerings. The ancestor money. The longevity papers. And the golden ingots. All of which will be daily offerings. As we have agreed upon. I ask you to accept this target formally and let us begin the darkening process. I bleed that my enemy may bleed. 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 I bleed my enemy may bleed. I bleed that my enemy may bleed. Jagaming. I have bled in those areas. I am asking to be diminishing on. Specific areas were listed in that note, as you well know. And I thank you. Let me burn your offerings.
Thank you, Zhao Baoming. And I shall call you back again tomorrow to continue the darkening process for the decay and degradement of this enemy. Hail Zhao Baoming. Alright, so the ritual is largely over at this point, and some things I want to point out. First, let me get this vented. Um, so what will happen is on the daily level, I will come back, I will make my offerings, burn those, and Zha Gongming will then continue to darken this stall and sometimes it it can seem light sometimes from day to day but when you think about you know from like a week ago there's you can feel a noticeable difference in it by then uh, again it what the level of uh, maybe pestilence in this case I'm asking for degradation and decay um, is going to be up to him right as I've said and so it's going to kind of vary from day to day as to how much it is. Uh, now the longevity paper is new to this round. Um, I put the amount in that he asked for, but it's basically three gold ingots, three pieces of ancestor money, and there were six pieces of longevity paper. Uh, and if those numbers change, if he asks for more, asks for less, well, he's probably not going to ask for less, but if he asks for more, then I'll give him more. It's, it's no big deal. Uh, the blood drops on here are like you notice I did it on the sides here but I didn't do it on the face and that's because at the very end we we you know like I said we liven the doll um, to uh, to then make the linkage so that way this 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 uh, energy that's been building up over 21 days uh, will then have an outlet to go to once it's burnt and that's that's pretty much how that's gonna go so I'm marking those areas saying Essentially, I want it everywhere. <laughs> and uh, um, then after we liven the doll, eventually we will, at the end of the 21 days, there are some stabbings that are going on with, um, with some wood. And that stuff gets burnt too. So, But day, uh, day one is down. I will now cover this doll up. I will set it to the side. Uh, and then I will spritz myself with salt water just to make sure that I haven't had a connection to this doll since I've just bled on it. Uh, part of it is that is payment to him, but it's also symbolic that I'm bleeding so that my enemy will bleed more. Uh, and as far as I'm concerned, that could be um, literal or not. Okay, so. But the point is there, the point is made. And there. So, as I'm doing these dabbings, it's it's my blood, but it's not going to be linked to me in the end. So, because that's part of the ritual and agreement. So there we go. Day one is done. I know you're probably expecting a whole bunch of yelling, cursing, screaming, you know, pounding on it like you do when when uh, you know. You read about over emotional rituals that usually are more cathartic, cathartic to the uh, the uh, the magician. Uh, those have those they have those have their place, but this isn't one of them. It's a different type of curse. It's not uh, it's not the type to get the stuff out of your system per se, which is what those others are. Um, yeah. So here we go. Day one is done. Uh, oh yeah, I. I'll probably be doing the incense disc every day too, but I'm not going to be burning it for like hours on end. I'll just do a scoop or two, make my offerings, and then cease to feed it uh, because that's at that point it's 
it's not needed, right? Um, so, I mean, it's part of the offering too. And if you do this ritual and you, you are uh, uh, a bit sensitive to your environment, then what you will notice usually is that entities are coming sometimes to accept these offerings on his behalf. So you, you even if he comes, sometimes you'll find entities that are coming uh, that are accepting these on his behalf. Uh, maybe he's donating that to them. Maybe they're divvying that out. It, it really doesn't matter to me. Just don't be surprised if you if you if you feel that, but they should leave. So that's part of what the bell ringing is for. Um, the steel bell in the beginning is uh, the start and end of the ritual. Uh, that wasn't in the first time I did this, but he wanted that bell. So usually I'll I'll do it once at the beginning, once at the end, because. I don't have anywhere else to, to use it. Now the, the the bronze bell, which I have here, uh, he did ask for, and so I use that usually in all of his offering videos too. But this this steel one though is uh, is only used um, at the beginning at the end, and I usually only use it for larger rituals. So there we go. You can still see the mugwort tea there in the background, probably. Yep. It hasn't uh, it hasn't decayed enough yet, so I'll leave it up for another day, and then I'll I'll get rid of it. Um, yeah, so there we go. Day one is done. <laughs>